and welcome back to my channel. My name is Denny. If you are new here, thank you for stopping in. If you're old, thank you for coming back. So today I was looking through IG and I saw the most interesting look and I figured I would do like a, I don't know, a dupe. So I recently purchased the NYX Ultimate Edit and this is a neon mini palette. And I really liked the neon shades and I saw this look that um, Slay by Jalea did and I was like oh, those colors right there are so awesome. They kind of remind me of the little palette that I purchased so I'm going to try to recreate that type of look and yeah that's what this video is about. So let me go ahead and prime my eyes. Start out by putting some of the Born This Way concealer on my eyes. I don't have any white concealer, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this instead. Um, it's a flesh tone color, but I think it's like a full coverage one. This is a light medium. I think I'm gonna start by putting the hot pink shade in the like inner corner section I'm gonna go ahead with this morphe m506 brush taking that hot pink shade and just placing it right in here this is actually the first time I use this palette so it's like a first all the way around I'm not uh, I'm not gonna blow it out in that area because I think the way she has it, she has uh, she has the other colors on there too. Actually, you know what? I don't know why I started with this color. Anyway, I already started. So it's actually a deeper pink than what that one is. And I think I started this out wrong. I should have really just like done the purple first and then cut the crease and then did everything else. But I didn't do it that way. So let's try to go ahead and take that purple shade and put that up on the top crease shade. So I think I am going to like go backwards. Anyway, there's no right or wrong way. I'm going to be using this um, SL Miss Glam brush and this is the P224 and I'm just gonna go into that purple shade and I'm just gonna be putting that purple shade up here I think I have to go really easy first because I have aging lids and um, I really want I don't want this to look um, creased and since it's going right on top of the um, concealer I don't want it to look creased or anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, try to blend this as evenly as I can I'm sorry I'm looking down if I'm out of frame I really can't tell um, if I'm in frame or not I really hope that the camera is still filming this purple is not as purple as what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and continue blending right here. Blend and be a little bit more precise with this. But this brush is a little like fluffy for what I'm trying to do. I'm going to go back in with that pink that I started out with and I'm going to go ahead and place that in here again. Color switch. 
so that I can use the same brush. Um, and I'm going to go in with the orange or shade that's in here. And I'm going to go right next to it. I like the way that's looking so far. And then I'm going to go in with the same brush. I just cleaned it off. I'm going with the yellow shade. And put that right next to it. This yellow is nice and pigmented as well. I'm liking it. I feel like I need to intensify that pink again. Because I feel like I'm losing that shade in there. And then... I'm actually going to extend this yellow just a little bit more. Lastly, color switch this one last time so that I can go into that blue. So I'm gonna go into that blue and that's what I'm gonna put right here on the end. Okay, and I'm gonna actually blow that out into this purple and blend it out to get the darker purple. take a clean blending brush and then what I'm gonna do on top of this purple that I have there is take a little bit of that hot pink shade and I'm just gonna try to go above it to like blend just taking a really light hand of that and then blending I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to use the orangey or shade in the beginning of the eye. Transition that into the yellow shade. And finally take that blue. I feel like that blue needs to be intensified. And I'm connecting that right here. Alright, I'm going to take then a small eyeliner brush. And I'm going to take the silver shade from the BH Cosmetics Eye Light, which is the shade BFF. And I'm going to take some of this on this brush. And I'm going to draw in a line where my cut crease should be. And I thought that I can get a precise line, but apparently I'm not that skilled. I took the smallest of brushes and I'm still making a mess. I'm actually she has hers rounded I'm just gonna draw mine's outwards and just leave it like flicked No. 
now that the look has been put together I'm gonna go ahead go off camera put on the rest of my face okay so I decided this look was deserving of some lashes so I'm gonna be doing some lashes as well as mascara and I'm also gonna do the glitter that I mentioned that I was gonna do but let me go ahead and start with the mascara first so I'm gonna just use this pure mascara this is the pure volume vixen mascara Also I'm gonna put some on the bottom lashes. So then for the lashes, I'm gonna be using these Eyelor Mink Effect lashes by Vegas Nay, and they're from the Lux collection. They've been used before by me, so they're nice and fluffy. So I figured these would be really great for the look that I'm trying to achieve. And I feel like this needs an eyeliner of some sort. I wish I had like a fun, vibrant yellow one, but I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and use, I think I'm going to do like a blue. I'm going to be using this Sephora eyeliner in this like blue shade. I'm hoping that it shows up good. And then lastly, I'm going to put on some lipstick. The lipstick that I'm going to be using is from Stella, and it's the exhilarating shade, and it's like a hot pink. Haven't used this hot pink in a long time, so I figured, why not? I have this fluorescent look. I'm gonna go ahead and put the glitter on and I'm gonna use this NYX glitter in gold which is the top shade I'm gonna take a little bit of this NYX glitter blue and I know her glitter is a bit chunky but I don't really have chunky glitters I'm just gonna do a smaller glitter Taking that on this a small brush and I'm just going to try to brush glue in the inner corner. Uh, hopefully I don't mess up the look. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and grab some of that glitter. And just place the glitter on top of the glue. I actually want it to like trickle down. Alright, so this is my completed look. I think that it is, it's okay. It's not my favorite um, because that line, I couldn't do it as sharp and crisp as I would want it to look. I still have to perfect that and work on my lines. But the color combination I think is pretty good. It looks nothing like the photo that I use for reference I mean we look very different but I love the color the color combination and I think that these shadows under like a white base would be so punch and pop maybe I just need to get some P. Louise base so that I can do it on top of that but for the most part I really do enjoy this fun summery vibe that's going on and also getting to play with some glitters so go ahead and let me know what you thought about this look. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my Guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love you.